Niv Ashkenazi is playing a very special violin for the dance students at Patrick Henry Middle School. It's one of the Violins of Hope, a collection of more than 60 stringed instruments rescued from the Holocaust and restored to their original condition. This Juilliard-trained violinist has his instrument on long-term loan. It has a beautiful, beautiful sound, and I think that the connection is with knowing some of the history, getting to hear the music, getting to hear its voice. One of the main ideas of Violins of Hope is to allow voices that were silenced to be heard again. And by restoring these instruments and getting them played on, those voices will never be silenced. Six million Jewish voices were silenced in Nazi concentration camps between 1933 to 1945, men, women, and children. Musicians in the camps were forced to play in ensembles. Some of their instruments were abandoned or lost after the camps were liberated. Moshe Weinstein and his wife fled to Israel before the war, and he rescued some of those instruments. His son and his son now restore them in Tel Aviv. In March, most of the Violins of Hope will be on view at the L.A. Museum of the Holocaust, and there will be a series of concerts at the Soraya Performing Arts Center in Northridge. Till then, a series of workshops in area schools. I'm hoping they, they understand that even though it's important to think of the Holocaust and the Violins of Hope as a historical document, historical records, that that's not just something to live in the past. A hip-hop dancer chooses to interpret the classical music very much in the present. They were hearing classical music, so they think, oh, ballet or something like beautiful, but I was showing that it doesn't have to be like that. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.